So lately I've been feeling frustrated with my over-dependence on modern technology and particularly how when used without limitations it's been taking much more than it gives. But no matter how hard I've tried to stop, I cave the moment that feeling of dreaded boredom hits. And once more I find myself wasting hours in the meaningless pursuit of elusive dopamine hits. So these cottage core style activities are my return to reality, a rediscovery of the things I actually love to do that bring me real fulfilment. I hope that you find inspiration in them and perhaps after this video turn off the screen and try one of them yourself. The first cottage core activity is a decoupage recovering of my autumn cookbook. I started by taking two different shades of brown packing paper, shredding them up and layering them with washi tape and glue. It felt lovely to take everyday objects and turn them into something beautiful. You can do this with cookbooks or journals or any other books you've got kicking around that you want to have a more protective covering or if you just really don't like the cover on them. Another piece of washi tape was perfect to cover the spine with before I moved on to decorating the label. Swapping out a distorted newsreel for arts and crafts or the noisy traffic for birdsong has been a balm to the soul that I didn't even know I needed. The truth is though, I genuinely don't believe that our society has it worse now than in the past. You know, people have struggled for hundreds of years and there have always been political issues and stresses and traumas that people have needed to deal with. I think that it's just that we're worse equipped to carry the weight of our present troubles, lacking as we are in the quiet and solitude needed to process everything and find positive solutions. Working with my hands on little projects makes me feel more capable and confident about tackling some of the bigger things and gives space to be alone with my thoughts as opposed to receiving a continual stream of other people's opinions and ideas from the internet. Over time, I hope to create a decoupage cookbook for every season, so this is going to be a year-long project, but I'm really happy with the start that I made with this one. The next cottage core activity is to read in nature. This is the perfect solution for those moments where you need an escape but you don't want to end up binge watching Netflix. From clearing the head to getting much needed perspective, there is always a place for you in nature. Reading, particularly books from times long ago, is also a great escape from the rush of the 21st century. One of the other things I love to do when I'm out in a park, wood or by the seaside is to collect little nature items to use as decorations in my home. This means that on the days when I am stuck inside working on a screen, I can just glance over and see some little pieces of nature to cheer me up. It's very hard for me to make a video of this kind without mentioning home baking. Now if you've been watching this channel for a while you will know that home baking is one of my great loves in life. In a world where it's so easy to nip to the shops and get almost anything you could wish for if you have the money, it feels like a quiet little rebellion against convenience to do it yourself. Not to mention that I think it does almost always taste way better. These cookies I'm making today are spiced with chocolate orange, which is perfect for the autumn and winter seasons. The main thing I've learned about baking cookies is that the secret to the perfect consistency is to chill the dough for 20 to 30 minutes before baking. Thank you. 
Over time, I hope to transition to using recipes only out of cookbooks, as opposed to almost always looking them up online, which is unfortunately what I do at present. This place is absolutely amazing. It is 350 years old and so beautiful. I've not taken a lot of footage because I'm just trying to chill a bit and not be thinking about technology. I haven't brought my camera or anything so this is all just on my phone but it's the last like 10 minutes that we're here and so I've just got a couple of cute little clips that I wanted to share with you. Now I understand that you may be thinking it's ironic for me to use technology to make a video and post it to the internet talking about how I want to reduce my dependence on modern technology. However, I'm not against progress or innovation or the beautiful, incredible, wonderful things that human beings are capable of making and indeed have made. After all, this cottage that stood for hundreds of years would have, at the time, been created with what was once modern technology. And the things that we now think of as being a bit more analogue, so to speak, like the radio, were once very modern and very new. Uh, my problem is more living more on the internet than in real life and over depending on modern technology, not being mindful of how we use it. I want to learn to use technology as a tool, not be used by it to benefit people who honestly don't care about what I'm losing in the process. Going to stay at a cottage in the countryside was a much needed reminder to return to simpler things, to experience life in the moment, doing things that actually bring a sense of fulfilment, even if it means embracing a little boredom to get there. So I definitely recommend if you get the chance, and particularly if you live in the city, to escape to the countryside once in a while, book yourself even a night or two in a cosy, quaint, old-fashioned cottage, because it's when you disconnect from media and reconnect with reality that you tend to make the most exciting discoveries. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share it with someone you think might benefit and leave a comment so I know whether to keep making this kind of content. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. But until next time, it was lovely to have you here.